Are you making these mistakes when you do your videos or your Facebook lives? Um, hi, my name is Tracy Wilson. I'm coming to you from TracyLWilson.com or my Facebook fan page, Tracy L. Wilson. And what I want to talk to you today about very briefly is do's and don'ts of videos, whether you're doing webinars, YouTube videos, Facebook Lives, LinkedIn videos, any video that you are doing. There's a few things that I want to talk to you about um, as far as tips and tricks and the best way to do these videos. And the reason why is, believe it or not, right now, every day, five hundred, according to Forbes magazine, 500 people, 500 million people, sorry, not 500 people, 500 million people every day are watching videos on Facebook only. That's not counting how many people spend hours and hours watching videos on YouTube or on LinkedIn or any other social media platform, just Facebook alone, 500 million people. And out of these 500 million people, they're looking for entertainment, they're looking for information, anything like that. And when people make purchases, um, a lot of people are starting to turn to video for um, product information. In fact, 64% of customers out there say they, when they're doing research on a product, they'll very often watch a video and that video will influence their decision. So what I'm going to give to you or talk to you today about is four little tips or tricks or things to think about when you are putting together and doing your videos. The first one is lighting. You wanna make sure that your light is in front of you, not behind you or to the side or below or above or anything like that. If it's um, behind you, you have a really dark face and you can't see the features of your face. If it's above you, um, it throws shadows over your face and if the light is below you, it's like, you know, when you were a kid and you we took a flashlight and you held it underneath you to tell scary stories. Well, that's what you look like on your video. Okay, not very good. So you want to make sure that the video or that the light is in front of you. Um, natural light is the best thing to use if you can. However, if you're like me and you live someplace where it's only light from eight in the morning till five at night right now because it's winter time. Um, make sure you have a good bright light. I just have a really cheap $25 desk light that I went and bought at uh, Walmart and that seems to be working. It doesn't seem to be too bright, but look at if I shut it off. See, look how dark my face, my, my, the, the, the lighting is just from the ceiling light. So you want to make sure that you have a really good light. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is camera location. Okay, you want to make sure that the camera is directly in front of you. You don't want it up like that so you're not looking up, so people don't think that they'll feel like they're looking down on you. You don't want to have it down like that neither because then people will think that you're looking down on them. You want to make sure that it's as much in front, directly in front of you as possible. The third thing is make sure that you're looking actually at the the camera. It's easier to do if you're using a phone and doing your video with a phone because very often the camera is right beside the screen. But I know if you're using a webcam in your desktop, it's super easy to get distracted with looking at the screen and talking to the screen. But you want to talk to the camera because then people will think that you are talking directly at them and not at yourself or the camera or, or anything like that okay and then the fourth thing is equipment and probably this is probably one of the more important things but it's one of the easiest ones to deal with because guys you know what you don't need super expensive to spend thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars on video equipment to be able to start doing videos all you need is I just use my iPhone um, a smartphone of some sort that has a decent camera and a decent mic and good light and that's it. I did finally go out and buy a little tripod so I can don't have to hold it or actually I was kind of propping it on a um, on my desk before and that was working too but I really wanted the, the mobility of a tripod so I can set it up wherever I want. So again, I spent maybe, I think I have $50 invested 
in my video equipment besides my phone. So yeah, the equipment, all you need is a camera or a phone with a decent camera and a decent mic and you're good to go. So do's and don'ts of videos, guys. It's super, super important. Videos are so very popular right now on the internet. And if you're going to be using the internet for any marketing, you need to be doing those videos. Um, if you're wanting any more tips and tricks, or actually I, ha I can offer you some super great training on how to use video. One of my mentors um, actually has built a multiple seven figure income using video and she has a great training on how to do that. If you want more information on that, put um, hashtag below, hashtag I'm in, more information below. Um, also below, put in hashtag replay, let me know where you're coming in from so I can reach out and say hi to you. And that's it, have a great day.